Welcome to our viewers in the United States and all around the world. This is New Day. Allison is off. Bianca Goladriga here with me all morning long. Great to be here. Great to you. have you here. We are following this developing news in the Gulf at this hour. Millions of people on the coast there preparing for a hurricane that is expected to trigger life threatening floods, perhaps worse than we've seen in seven decades. Hurricane warnings are in effect all along the Louisiana coast. The tropical storm watches stretch all the way east to the Mississippi Alabama border. More than 10 million people are in the danger zone. Tropical storm Barry is intensifying right now in the Gulf of Mexico. The Mississippi River is already about twice as high as it usually is this time of year. Now Barry is expected to become a category one hurricane and make landfall tomorrow, creating a storm surge of two to three feet. That means a strong possibility of epic flooding. We will speak with the governor of Louisiana in just a moment. But let's get started with meteorologist Chad Myers, who is tracking the system. Chad, the fact that this is a slow moving storm is very dangerous, correct? It is. Plus the water that now it is over is 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's also the problem. We are now in the hot water, in the fuel to the fire. The wind speeds went up overnight to 50 and the pressure this morning with the Hurricane Hunter aircraft in it right now is going down. Those two things are bad. Here is the rainfall. It's offshore. That's the good news for now. But guess what? This entire bowling ball is going to move to the north. I know we've talked a lot about New Orleans, but I'm very concerned about Baton Rouge as well, all the way up to Natchez. This is going to be a widespread rain event with 10 to 20 inches of rain on rivers that are already out of their banks in many places. But it's the flooding possibility of the Mississippi that we're most concerned about. Now, most of this rain here will not go into the Mississippi River because of the levees, that water goes other places. But it's the rainfall just north of there and the rain that fell three months ago in Nebraska that has filled the Mississippi River and then the surge making it three or four more feet high. That would be a 19 foot surge on the river. And everywhere here in New Orleans, it's above 20, except for these little red dots, John. Not quite to 20 feet there. And with waves on top of that, there could be water, certainly over the top of some of these levees. Again, so much reason for CERN. Chad Myers, thank you yeah. for being with us. We'll let you get back to the data. We'll speak to you again with the new forecast at 8. Joining us now is the governor of Louisiana, John Bell Edwards. Uh, governor, thank you so much for being with us. I've heard you say there are three major reasons for concern always of flooding in Louisiana. That's the rain, that's the rivers, and the storm surge, and you're going to get all three with this. We are, and you know, the point was well made. We're in our 259th consecutive day of flood fighting on the Mississippi River. Uh, tomorrow morning, we expect Tropical Storm Barry to come ashore in central Louisiana, cent along the central coast. That'll be the first time, uh, and it'll come on as a hurricane. That'll be the first time we've actually had a hurricane hit Louisiana while the Mississippi River was at flood stage. Uh, and so that's a new dynamic. Uh, I will tell you that based upon the information we currently have from the National Weather Service with the storm surge in the river uh, that we can expect and talking to the Corps of Engineers, we are confident that there will not be overtopping of the levees uh, in New Orleans. In fact, that has never been forecasted. The only forecast uh, for overtopping uh, was down in Lower Plaquemines Parish and yesterday that forecast actually changed and now we don't expect the Mississippi River levees to be overtopped anywhere, but this is going to be a very, very significant rain event across most of Louisiana uh, and the the rain bands that are going to come in off of the Gulf of Mexico are going to be wide. Uh, and, and so this is going to impact just a huge swath of, of our state uh, and we are taking it extremely seriously. And I will remind everyone in 2016, 56 of our 64 parishes were declared a major federal disaster because of flooding and we didn't have a named storm at all. Uh, so, so I will tell you this storm has our attention. Uh, we're doing everything that we can. We're gratified that the president yet uh, last night uh, granted our request for a pre-landfall federal uh, disaster declaration, emergency declaration, and has authorized direct federal assistance uh, so that working with our federal partners uh, with FEMA uh, and, and otherwise, we're going to be able to move resources and personnel much more quickly than would otherwise have been the case. Obviously, so many people remember Hurricane Katrina. I don't have to tell that to you. There were yeah. so many changes made after the devastation there uh, to the state. So many services put in and mechanics like pumps. Are all the pumps working? 
Yeah. Well, the, the briefing I got uh, late yesterday from the mayor was 118 out of 120 pumps. Uh, that's the most that we've had in a very, very long time. And the two pumps that are not working uh, currently, uh, they, there's much redundancy at those locations, uh, and they're not the most essential. Uh, and the power generation is very good. I will tell you with the uh, investment made uh, very generously, I might add, by the country uh, in the hurricane risk reduction system in New Orleans, uh, in that area, uh, we feel very, very good uh, about uh, the situation of New Orleans, uh, and, and we, we believe it's going to be able to withstand uh, this storm. We got a good test day before yesterday uh, when a very heavy rainfall uh, happened in a very short period of time, uh, and so we had to uh, exercise all of those pumps and the power generation. Uh, it performed well, but, but at the same time, uh, you never know exactly what Mother Nature is going to throw at you, and, and we, uh, we, our capacity is to pump only so mm -hmm. much rain uh, over a period of time. So, so it's obviously something we're concerned about, uh, but I, I, I'm confident that New Orleans is going to weather uh, this storm uh, in pretty good fashion. All right, that's good. We'll be cautious, but that's good. Governor, any evacuations, and here's your chance. What message do you want to send to the people of Louisiana yeah. this morning about how to get ready? Well, we do have some mandatory evacuations in Lower Plaquemines Parish and in low-lying er areas of Jefferson Parish. Uh, I need the people of Louisiana to pay attention to the National Weather Service, to, to uh, the information they get from CNN and, and else, elsewhere, but also pay attention to local elected officials uh, and, and heed their warnings. Uh, most fatalities and flood events in Louisiana uh, in recent years have come from motorists uh, who drive through standing water. Uh, when it's unsafe to do so, it's deeper than they believe it to be. And also there's current that sometimes is imperceptible. Uh, we need individuals to not drive through standing water. Uh, and I want the folks in Louisiana to know we're taking this very seriously. Uh, we've got 3,000 National Guardsmen uh, activated uh, with all of their equipment. Uh, we've got more than 300 buses standing by uh, to move individuals to shelters, and we have opened a mm -hmm. mega shelter in central Louisiana in order to take those individuals uh, uh, mm -hmm. to safety. So we're taking this very seriously, uh, and I do believe in the power of prayer as well. Governor John Bell Edwards asking for any help you can get this morning. We'll let you get back to work. You're going to have a busy few days. Thank you, Governor. Always so important. We will. Thank residents. you, John. It's always so important to residents heed the warnings, right, that, that, that their local officials are giving out dire warnings in many cases. And that's why they come on. I mean, that is why they work with CNN, and we're trying to get the message out to the people in Louisiana. Pay very close attention to this because these floods can be very serious.